Yes, yes, I see the greenhouses. Let's go. This is just not right. I'm so close. I can see the greenhouses. No joke, they're right over there. The greenhouses in the desert. And the battery is dying. I can't even fight the current anymore. I might have to head back and make a second attempt. No way, this is so crazy. What's up everybody? Hopefully you guys can hear me good because it is windy out here on the creek today. This quite possibly could have been my most ridiculous idea yet. And that's pretty hard to top. Today, I am heading up the creek from where I started all the way back there. I'm on the John boat here and I'm gonna be heading to probably the gnarliest abandoned facility that I've ever explored before. You guys are gonna be able to check it out with me for the first time. Hopefully we can get there in one piece because this is absolutely insane out here. This is what we're working with though. Let me see if I can just give you guys a little, oh man. I'm like actually about to fall over. But this is what we got. Battery, little Enduro motor. The Minn Kota from Walmart. We're on the open sea right here though, baby. This is legit. So we gotta go two miles that way. Hopefully the battery lasts. And the current's coming this way. I just looked at how far the greenhouse is and it's so far. I didn't even go halfway yet. I don't know how long this battery's gonna last. It is a deep cell battery, but if we don't even make it there, I just have to tuck my towel between my legs and go back home. I got faith in the mission. What I'm calling the place we're about to explore is the million dollar mega greenhouse facility because that's all you can see on Google Maps is just big giant greenhouses that go on and on forever. I think I'm about halfway there. Here's where I should have put the boat in instead of all the way in Summer's Point because that added like an hour to the trip. Scooting along at like three miles an hour. But here's a, a boat drop right here. That's where I might come out and then just have Sammy pick me up if all else fails, like if I run out of gas. But I also didn't want to leave my truck there because like, I don't know if they ticket people or whatever. If I, if I run out of batteries, I literally just have to take the current back home. I have the paddles. Paddle with what? Do you have paddles? Yeah. Oh, you got paddles? All right. Yeah. Bean, look at your dad. Is he wild? Bean burglar. Oh, she knows! Yeah! <laughs> That's my baby! Yeah! Finn, you know that I'm out here adventuring, right? Look, she got up. You see? She's so good. Look, you want to see this? There's like an abandoned... Uh, dock right here on the side. See it? Somebody left their dock right here. Let's see. Me look. See it? Look. Over there. Look, River wants to see. It's like a floating dock that somebody could use. Let me see it. See it? Wow. For Greg. Where's my bar? Oh my gosh. Nowhere. What do you mean? I'm saying I didn't go far at all. I went like a mile. It's, it's pretty cold out. Like, it's really cold out. I'm actually getting a little bit worried about how long this has taken. I mean, I've been on the on this creek for literally 45 minutes. I think longer than that. And we are not even close yet. This is so crazy. I can't believe I even got myself into this. The thing of it is, so, the place that we're about to explore is 
probably like 95% or greater that some developer or company is gonna buy the land and then develop it into houses, which makes sense because there's a lot of people around where we live. But at the same time, it takes away like 70 acres of land that was just one big nursery and turns it into housing. And that's kind of a bummer, as well as being, you know, legit for the people that are gonna move in there. It does suck. This could be like the last video shot of this property before it gets completely changed. Cruising. Okay, after an hour on the creek back here, cruising along, I can finally see the greenhouses in the distance. Like for real, for real. And they're huge. Oh my gosh, this place looks crazy already and I'm still like a football field away. Like three football fields, who am I kidding? So far. Okay, I got to a certain point where I could, I am still can see them. I can see the roofs of the greenhouses. And the battery got so low that I couldn't even fight the current anymore. I'm sad to say I've been beaten for today. I am turning around. I will be back to conquer this though, tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> I firmly believe that life is full of endless adventures, but this just sucks. I had to call my wife to come to the boat dock and pick me up because I'm stranded out here on a freaking John boat with a paddle, just paddling down the street. Right, made it back to the boat dock. This one is the one I should have come in on. Defeated today, but we always have tomorrow. We will accomplish what we came to accomplish. Like I said at the beginning of this video, like a towel between my legs, baby. I said I was going to have to go crawling back. In the beginning of the video too, I was like, I'm either going to get there and accomplish this or I'm going to be crawling back with my tail between my legs. <laughs> Which one was it? I see that tail. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? I'll load up that stuff and then I'll come back for the boat. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So just turn around so like your butt's facing the stuff. What you doing out here? making preparations for the expedition. What kind of preparations? <laughs> Do you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> Come out, Dad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say for real? Yeah. All right, come out, I'll show you. All right. All right, so yesterday, you guys saw it. Got super stoked, thought I almost made it to the greenhouse. Didn't make it there, I ran out of power on the engine. So today, I'm going to make a second attempt and we will be victorious today because i made some changes to the plan i upgraded all of the items we're going to need to make this come true so here it is sammy j here's the plan so i'm gonna set the boat out okay into the river yeah load up all the gear okay and then ride it this time actually to the greenhouse so here's what i did to and make fully charged the bats <laughs> that was funny. That was a good one. Are they? They're pretty charged. Yeah, they're charged. So this one's a deep cell battery. So it's supposed to last longer. But yesterday proved that that was obviously not the case. So today we have the Everstart charged at like above 50%. Right? It's kind of the same as it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but I have two batteries this time. Okay, that's true. Hopefully, right? So I'll put these two batteries in there, make it there on one, hopefully, and then use the other one to come back home. Do you think I'll be victorious today on the mission? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is that? Is it? Dude, the boogers. How would boogers get on there? Uh, because you do this. <laughs> I literally, my chin just went in your boogers. 
that it has was a crusted bugger on there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Ew. Ew. The difference today in the preparations is I'm leaving behind the chair because the way that the engine sits on the boat, I couldn't use the chair even if I was able to tighten it. I'm bringing two batteries, like I just said. This time I'm bringing an anchor. I'm bringing an extra rope rain jacket because it is supposed to rain later today around three o'clock. I want to be there and back by three, but who knows, this mission is on. Uh, there's no way for me to judge how crazy this is gonna be. I'm also bringing this so that I can tighten the batteries down on the clamps. So without further ado, let's go. Let's get to this greenhouse. Down at the boat dock, I have all the gear here and you can see clearly with your eyes how much higher the tide is here today. This whole parking lot was drained last night when I came back and the tide was going that way. Right now it's going that way. So hopefully we can catch the tide going that way and then on the way back catch it going this way. We'll see what happens. mission of go. The sun is out, basically. We are ripping up the stream at a steady pace of like two miles an hour, but actually moving with the current, so we're moving pretty quick. And I can see the greenhouses all in there. It's a huge, massive place. So this goes around kind of like a loop and then goes back in where we can get to land and don't have to walk too far across the marsh. But yeah, I'm excited. The Explorer is going down today. This place is epic. I can see everything from here. Now we just gotta figure out what's the best place to go on land. Wow. This is gnarly. So we're probably gonna have to just drag the boat up into the tree line and then cover it so nobody sees it. We don't want anyone poking around when we're trying to explore. I think the best idea is to drop the anchor here, get the drone up in the air and see what we're working with before we actually make landfall. It's not that deep here. That's a good sign. Why you upset like Cinderella teens? Up in the air. Let's go see what we're working with here. Everyone is looking for something. No matter where we are in our lives, we all, deep down, we want substance. We want to know what happens next. We know the movie ends, but no one wants to leave before the credits. Decay makes us feel a part of the connection of continuous deterioration. It connects what was to what is and what will be. And it tells a story. For this garden center in New Jersey, this is the end. But for me, this is one last chance to document the vestiges of someone's dream. The last chance to say goodbye to something meaningful before it is all simply a memory. Let's explore this place together.
solid drown. And we made it. I think all I can do is just drag the boat up into there and just sit it there. Because honestly, nobody else is coming back here, that's for sure. I don't even know how I got back here. Ooh, sticker burrs everywhere. All right, definitely amateur hour out here. But I feel like as I start doing more of these explorers, I'll get better at it. But I tied it to a tree, the boat, so that if it does slide backwards, it won't go anywhere. It'll just be waiting for me. And I tried to cover it with this tarp, but it doesn't cover it. And obviously I camouflage the bottom of the boat, but I never finished the inside. So you can just see it so clearly. This is not the tarp to use, but it does give it a little bit of coverage. So that, I don't know. I made an attempt, but yeah, let's go check this place out. I should just leave this behind really. And also this jacket, I don't think I need it. It's so hot out. All right, to start the mission here today, I'm gonna go GoPro on the head mount and I'm gonna be using the Canon camera this camera to film some slow motion shots of all the structures because I really want to capture the beauty of decay here. So I just wanted to say too, before we get into this, my intention of being here is not to vandalize, to destroy, to take anything, to gain anything. I'm simply here as a way to preserve on film the very last time that all these buildings and this whole property will be thoroughly filmed and seen by the public before they're developed. I just want to put that out there because I know not everybody's intentions are pure when they're going places, but I just want to assure the viewers that you guys know me pretty well, a lot of you guys, and you know I'm not out here for any other reason but to just have fun and to share this experience with everybody online. That being said, let's do this. I hope you guys can see this really well from the GoPro, but it looks like there's just thousands of these little planter things everywhere. And obviously this was like a, a trail slash road to go through so that they could go around the perimeter of the property. First greenhouse, so what I was saying before, this one looks like it was metal. As you can see, like metal and then they put the plastic over it. But those ones are actually the glass greenhouses. Those are gonna be the really cool ones. This is gonna be a disaster to clean up all this though. First look inside is insane. All right, let's see our access point here. So we could go through there, but I don't think we're gonna need to. I think the door is gonna be wide open because this place has been sitting like this for quite some time, years. Check this out. Wow. No way. This place is badass. It smells of like sulfur though or something crazy. So this is one of the big dog ones.
This is the kind of explorer I like, nice and mellow. Can take my time showing everything. This is a massive sewing machine. John Deere, maybe? Is this to sow the fields? Look at the growth on top of it, though, the vines and stuff that grew over it. It is a John Deere, I think. And then just look at the quantity of plants that they had in here at one time. This is so cool. Here's just like a boat trailer sitting right here. Old beach chair, just thrown on top of there. Definitely looks like they left in a hurry. I think the access is easier from that side to go into that greenhouse, so I'll go around. There's like 50,000 slam pie. There's like 50,000 of these uh, planting pots in here though. This is probably the easiest way to go through though. Talk about a greenhouse though. All right, I'm gonna go through this way and see if we can find our way down one of these rows somehow. Like it would be interesting to go down the row and see where it takes you, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. It's just so overgrown. It looks like maybe they didn't use these greenhouses for a long time before they closed because these trees are like 10 years of growth. Like, see that tree sticking out of there? It hasn't been closed for that long. But maybe they were in a financial situation before they actually closed. So they weren't using all the facilities that they actually had. This is a, this is a trash out, if I've ever seen one. So I'm gonna be thorough here, very thorough, because I want you guys to see everything too. Somebody's underwear. It's a funny one. So this is one of the main greenhouses that we're in right now. But that one across seems like Maybe even more of a main one. All right, let's go to it. Little push forklift, forklift thing. Not a little one, actually, a big one. Wow, this looks like the main building here, actually. This is cool. Again, the immensity of this operation. Where are all these birds trying to go? Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, they all went out that way, I guess. Sorry guys, I did not mean to freak you out like this. All right, I'm gonna go out of here because I don't want to hurt the birds. They're all freaking out. Maybe I'll go from the other way. Somebody broke a lot of glass in here though. That's what we call a donkey when it comes to exploring. Breaking stuff and spray painting on stuff. massive water tank I could only assume but maybe not because it says no smoking check out and garden center and here is an old Santa Claus sign that looks like asbestos right there this used to be for sale. Handyman special. 
You ain't kidding. That is a serious handyman special. Points. Look at all those scarecrows. That's weird. Wow. I have a light, but maybe we don't even need it. Looks like the GoPro's handling this pretty well, actually, in here. So this is some kind of a boiler room and they're holding that partially up with a pallet. So I oh, know they're not, it's on, it's on a piece of cement. Wow. Pumpkin patch cats. I like the sound of that. How did that get here? Another Santa. So, so far, so good. That's a big piece of scrap right there. Because there's no way that that works anymore. Wow, some idiot just literally threw rocks through all the windows too. The birds make sounds that freaks me out every time. All right, so this just comes around. Look, they got like shovels out here as if what were they digging for? Hmm. Weird. And how do I get in here? Do I have to go through this little area? I don't know. Maybe I'll try to find a different way in. And then I'll come back to it. This makes me think that this place is about to get developed now though. Cause like, who fixes water lines in a, in a property like this? Who would ever do that? what this massive building is though I might need to get the light out though honestly I definitely think I need the light look at this they just have stacks and stacks of the roofing and more planners okay I'm assuming but I'm not gonna say for sure that this is a residence here. Like somebody lived in here maybe at one point. I do have the light, but let's go in and see. This does look like housing here for somebody, maybe the people that own this place. Look at that, cheetah pillow. Oh wow. Somebody had their way with this place. This is a really cool living room though at one time with the vaulted ceilings kind of like that. And if I can see for real that this is actual wood, it's not paneling. Can you guys see that? Wow, this was a nice house back in the day. There's a blunt wrap. Assuming kids come in here and hang out, break stuff. It's like throwing pieces of metal through windows. Wow, what a waste of time. Creepy. Washer and dryer. Bathroom. That's the hangout room back here. I can see. Somebody likes to spray paint in here and hang out around the table and smoke a blunt. 
or a cigarette or whatever. Seashell handles on the dresser. We got some respect Tweety. Okay, Tweety Bird. I'm gonna go in here even though I don't really want to because this is weird. Wow. This is a small room, but very weird. Super creepy. Exercise machine. Wow. They're gonna have to tear this place down. That's for sure. Groomer's best. So at least they had pets, the people that lived here. It seems like the people who actually lived here were cool. The people that came after were brutal. So somebody did try to take some of the scrap there. I can see that. And look, the decaying ruins. Wow, this place is whacked. I'm out of here. I just wanted to show you guys so you could get the full experience, but this is not my cup of tea, this one. Look at the sign now. Mom sale. Wow. So yeah, what a better way to live though. Work and live on the same property with this cool lake by your house. Look, you walk out the front door, there's your warehouse space, your whole business to the left, or I mean to the right, and then to the left, you got this whole lake that you could go out on and it takes you right to the river I came in on. That is truly a gem right there. Wow. Yes. Awesome property back in the day. All right, I'm just readjusting myself here for a second, but this is what I brought a battery charger because the GoPro batteries don't last all that long and I only have two of them with me. So I'm just making sure that's plugged in and then I put the other one that was plugged in in the GoPro. But I wanted to show you this. I'm just sitting here on what used to be, I'm assuming a dock right here. So, I mean, at one point, maybe the water came up through here and filled in this area. It's really peaceful and calm here though. But like, imagine I don't really fish, but like just sitting here fishing off the dock your house is right there. I don't know, it's it's a dream situation to be honest. Lake behind you, river behind you, sitting on 70 acres. Definitely somebody's paradise at one time. Walking around the side of the house, I'm gonna check out this warehouse back here quickly before I go to the main facility in the front. Look at that. It's a bike. It looks like it got ran over by something though. And there's a basement in that house. Wow. Probably just a crawl space, but all right, let's just check this out. I feel like the front door is open to this place. sure what this building is but all right some more mayhem so this is just a nice pole barn back here look at this little princess vanity that mattress but believe it or not was actually expensive back in the day you can tell from the topper on it it's like an animal cage back here is that what that is? Yeah, it's just a dog cage. Pallets. Looks like they stored hay in here, or straw. And then, this goes back out to this greenhouse, which is one that we did not go in yet. And this is another massive greenhouse.
All right, so the greenhouse behind, so that whole facility back there actually behind the house, like that little pole barn, it led back into this one. So I walked through that one back out back here and I'm back to this spot where I was and I'm ready to go in the main building now. Let's see what's in here though, is this a freezer? This would used to be a big walk-in freezer in here. I think this is the main facility here. Wow, there is stuff everywhere in here. Holy cow. There's just wood and plywood and boxes up there, unused and piping. More planter pots. Look at that. A pallet of potting soil that was unopened. There are Christmas and Halloween decorations everywhere. Oh, these were the ones that they probably sold. Billy the Ghost. Little scarecrows. More scarecrows. So this was like the uh, inventory in here. Oh wow. Yeah, this is insane. And what are these, the punch cards or receipts? Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Pat Kong Farms, $295.89. July 17th of 1995. Wedding flower list. So you would, they filled this out with the person who was having the wedding. Fisher Flowers Main Street, Atlantic City. And this was from 1988. Sherwood. Wow. That's telling of everything. Computer room, where basically the servers would sit on here maybe. More paperwork, a Thinsulate shoe. It says Meadowcrest Builders. Maybe they made custom signs, that makes sense. There's one, hanging basket sale. Let's see this. Plants by Pat Kong Farms. Wow, this place was a big facility back in the day. Pat Kong Farms. And this is the main entranceway to, I guess, what would be like the garden center where they sell all the knickknacks and everything. So this is the main entrance. I don't even want to go out there because I don't even want the people across the street to see me in here. Just by chance. Just to avoid anything that I could. So that's all drywall on the floor. All right, we got the bathrooms in here. The men's room, that looks moldy. Little fountain. Oh yeah, the drywall is molding really badly in here. What is this? Wow. Look at this. A conveyor belt? What is this thing? Or some kind of printer? This is machinery for manufacturing something. Look at that. All the flower stubs. This right here was a little area that probably held flowers. That would make sense. 
and then back outside. So it all kinds of loops around, honestly. All right, I came back through here. That's like where all the paper was around here on the floor that I was reading off of right there. So I'm going back through this section. Look, guide to popular perennials. Who breaks all this stuff? It's like so dumb. All right, here we go. Another greenhouse. There's the shopping cart that you put all your flowers on. Another pallet of topsoil that was never used. All the displays. This was like a gift shop in here, I'm guessing. And what do they got here? And what do we got here? Is this a skate ramp or something? Potentially some kind of a ramp for maybe skateboarding. What's crazy is I showed you guys all of that stuff already. And look how big that whole building is over there. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to that today. Because this video will be like eight. Whoa, what is this? It's like some kind of like sled or wagon. This video will be like hours long if I show everything. I'm gonna have to cut it down, I guess. That one sign right there that says wholesale customers only, probably the coolest sign in here. battery if we keep going all day here so this was the main office for the outdoor section it's a big cubicle though wonder what they were snacking on oh somebody already went through all these it would be interesting to see like a pack of crackers from like 10 years ago, just sitting in there. This is all files. Really surpassed my welcome here, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if I do too much, that there's no point, but this whole facility all the way over here has not been. Oh no. I'm not really worried about it because this place is obviously super abandoned. But I do believe, I just saw a police officer drive by. And you can definitely see the road from here. And if I can see him, he can probably see me. So I might just bail out of here before I get too carried away. Because there's no point in pushing it at this, at this point. I got all the footage I need for today. I'm gonna just go to the boat and sit down for a second. Recollect my thoughts. This place might be worth a second explore though. Not sure. Cause there's a definite time limit on how long it'll be like this. Unless that was just like a car that had a white door and the rest of it was black. No, I doubt it. It was definitely just a cop. But I don't know. I don't think he's coming back here. 
Definitely not. Ooh, it smells weird back here though. You guys can see the facility's all right there beyond the tree line and it butts up to this. So like what a beautiful property to own. So this is kind of like marshy, swampy, but right out there is the river. Right there. Obviously you guys saw how I accessed it. All right, so the one thing I would like to do is FaceTime my wife and daughter. I mean, Finley's a baby, so she's not gonna be too ecstatic about it, but she does like to explore with me through the phone. But now I'm wondering where I even put the boat. Oh, I see it, it's over there. But I might FaceTime them and show them a little bit of the uh, warehouses just real quick. And then I'm out of here. I just look so crazy right now because I'm all sweaty running around. Yo. Yeah. Here we are. We're at the facility. All right. Wave to the people. All right. I'm going to take you guys through for real quick and then I'm going to bounce out of here because it's scary and I think I saw a cop drive by on the main road. What? Yeah, because he's like, what's this guy doing? Nah, he was, it was either literally like, you know, a car that someone would buy from an auction. Yes. Because like I didn't see police on the side, but hey, Bean, Mama. look. Mama. Dad, Dad. Look, Mama. All right. Check this out. So yeah, I posted up the boat right here. Look, I'll show you guys. She's actually looking. <laughs> she is. She's, she's looking because it's an adventure. I don't right. see the boats like right down in there. Right. So the water's over here. And then you just walk up in the back of the place. It's literally right here. Wow. And it goes on and on forever. Like wow. this place is, this is like a million square feet. And that's the one over there. Look I, didn't, at her looking. I didn't even go into it. Did, is she looking for real? Bean, Bean, check it out. This is what, this is what we're going to do when we get older here. I conquered for sure. Got so much footage. Check out this donkey operation that I have going on there. This is how I parked up the boat. Look at this though, we're like in the woods right now. What? And this is where I put the boat, see it? That's so crazy. So classic. Oh yeah. All right, I guess I'm gonna try to get this going so, and I'll hit you up back when I'm on the river. Okay. If you wanna talk. Okay. All right, see you in a little. Love you. Love you too. All right, successful mission. I'm just gonna try to slide my way, slide and glide my way back into the water without destroying my face on these sticker bars. There's sticker bars just literally all over me. Ow. Worst place to go in. I should have gone in over there. Ow. I knew I'd be happy to see dry land, but I didn't know I'd be so happy to leave it. I'm a beaten man now. Now to go home and relax. Put all this footage on the computer and see if I got what I came for. Ugh. Thanks for joining me though, guys. So I did want to put a, just say something real quick, that the beauty of this Explore is that it's further enough decayed that like it's safe to go in. Obviously the place is never opening again. Everything's completely dilapidated, so it looks really cool. Like the beauty of decay. But at the same time, especially in this area, it won't be like this for long. So there's only a small time limit between, okay, is it decayed enough to explore? But at the same time, when are they gonna develop it? So like, who knows, they could start developing it next week. I really have no idea. We're back on the open seas now. We're gonna head back home. Ugh. 
Hopefully, I should say. Let's see what the battery life's looking like. Uh, too shallow in here. All right, back on the open water. Woo! So yeah, I do want to say thank you guys for joining me on this mission. Um, thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. So I just want to say whether this gets a lot of views or not, this is something that I really wanted to do. I love exploring abandoned buildings. And this is something that hits close to home. It's a, it's a business that was straight up booming at one time, worth millions of dollars and now it just lies in decay. So I guess it's kind of a, a wake up call that everything great comes to an end and all dreams do eventually end. So you gotta make the most of what you can with your life because it is really short. And, and I'm stuck. Man, I was just about to get into like some meaningful shit and this is what happens. This motor does not seem like it's healthy right now. All right, I got us unstuck. These were the guys that were getting us. So I just wanted to end this off by saying, truly enjoy your life. You know, take risks, live your life to the fullest. You know, always remember what's most important and protect that shit. And just go for it. At the end of the day, if you want something and you want to do something, there's not much that can really stop you in this world. There is barriers, you know, roadblocks in place, literally for everything. But the whole point is life is not supposed to be easy. It is a struggle every day. You know, it's even more of a struggle to figure out how to live a life where you do what you love all the time. But it is possible. And you know, obviously not everything that I do I love, but I have carved out me and Sammy and now our daughter Finley have carved out a little piece of paradise um, and our own reality really because I don't know anybody else who lives like us so it is possible and it's worth it so yeah to just leave you guys off work hard work towards your dreams and protect your shit protect the things that you love and the people you love and never be afraid to say I'll leave that up to you guys. Peace out. See you in the next video.